a uh, Commodore. No, he's fucking not. And look, I've got the brake, and he's got the brake in. Oh, oh, Rainbow Beach. Um, all right. Where do you want to stop? Uh, we'll go to Bonnie Hills. Yeah. We're going to Bonnie Hills. Is there a shop further up? Yeah. Oh, we can go to Lorton. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we'll go to Lorton. Oh, this is Bonnie Hills. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I meant, I meant Lorton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lorton for the stop. Yeah. Gonna go take the drone out, he says. Let's go take the drone out. We might get lucky, mate. <laughs> what is... <laughs> I mean, I could still take it out. What yeah. does God say? <laughs> I, I could still take it out. It just wouldn't be ideal because <laughs> it's pretty fucking expensive. He says, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, Jimmy. Bay and it stopped raining just off the dirt, just in the nick of time. Yeah, this is going to be good. We're going to get some good photos and stuff now. I think so. Raining. Mate. Hell yes, oh, it's going to be lovely. I haven't done a mad photography day for so long. <laughs> and I was just like, no you didn't, hang on. <laughs> I was like, hang on, he's like, no, nah, I gave you the rings, don't you have the rings? He got you. And I was just like, I'm going to have to call you back. And then he goes, oh, no, 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 it's fine, man, it's fine, I've got the rings, I've got the rings. Because he sort of left me going. He's stitching you up. Left me going for that minute. And I was just yeah. like, because what was happening in my mind was like, I'm going to flip every piece of furniture in this house until I find those things. <laughs> and I was just like, you fucking bastard. <laughs> he goes, oh man, nah, nah, you fucking opened Pandora's box now, mate. I'm going to fuck with you so hard. <laughs> I'm changing my speech. <laughs> no, well, I didn't tell him that at the time. So what I did is... So he'd already read it by He'd now. already read the speech, but what I, did is I went and wrote a different speech. Yeah. After he made a practical joke. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. And so I didn't reveal that to him until I gave the speech. <laughs> so I'd had a few uh, I'd had a few bourbons uh, beforehand and it was time for me to get up and give the whole spiel. It was like no no joke, there was like three hundred people at that wedding. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do it if I was sober. <laughs> um, I got up and um, I said I said to him, oh, uh, Doyle, so just for your little prank that you put on me that night about uh, whether or not I had the rings, well, <laughs> sorry, dude, I'm going to have to reveal my master plan to you right now. <laughs> he goes, and I said to him, I said to everyone, so this is how much um, actually trust me. He actually wanted to proofread my speech before I gave it. <laughs> well, there's a little problem for you, mate. And I was just like, I have my jacket. I go, I've got the real speech right here. <laughs> and he just went, fuck. <laughs> and he was just there, clenched the arsehole the whole time. But I didn't stitch him up too hard. I was quite lenient. <laughs> you got it a bit, but I just wanted to make him squirm. <laughs> It would have been the anticipation knowing that you're going to read something different. Mm -hmm. That was enough. <laughs> that was enough. Yeah. And I was looking at him sitting there, and he was just like, oh. "What are you going to say?" And then I said, "I said something along the lines of like, I pulled the speech out. I was like, don't worry, mate. You'll still be married by the end of the night. <clears throat> Maybe. 